It's the opening night for the design and the digital media students. So this is the big one. My name's Tom Ellard and I'm a lecturer in Digital Media, School of Media Arts, and I'm the video guy. And we've got everybody here at a couple of like really great exhibits that we're gonna look at, but we'll see round things. Hi, my name's Peter Wildman, and this is my work come together now. Um, it's an interactive installation that aims to bring people together through using technology as an invitation rather than a mediation. So this is the first uh, installation I've ever attempted. So it's been a very arduous test. Um, I've done a lot from sewing the pillows and making my own patchwork, uh, recording music and using interactivity with microcontrollers and coding. Basically, the idea is kind of like draws you in, draws you sit down, you join in, and by the time you've got it all going, like there's no computer playing, it's just like the people playing. So like the computer gets like replaced by people instead. Okay? Cool. So we'll go over and see that one. I feel like David Attenborough. This is by Scott Brown and it's a touch screen and it, it like reacts to your touching. You can see it's becoming more and more kind of like worked up here. But it's like, it's not like your touch screen, you know like touch screens are always like flat. This one you really dig into it so you're actually touching something. It, it's, it's the way you touch it and the sound of the, 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 the particles mixes in with the sound that's coming out of the system. It's done with processing, it's done with sensors coming up underneath and like the two speakers either side. And it's, you're supposed to feel kind of, you know, something slightly erotic or something, I think, going on there. But... Well, you know, there's, there's some works which just aren't about... I mean, it's like, you know when people kill butterflies and pin them to boards? I mean, you know what kind of butterfly you just killed, right? Uh, I think it's kind of like that. You just let it fly. You don't have to know what it's about. At least that's what I think, anyway. Uh, we should go see the sound work this way. It's Ca Caroline de Deer, okay, a time-based arts student. You've got speakers there, there. Speakers, speakers, speakers. And so right here there's like sound, a complete surroundscape. You're surrounded by this um, 3D space. So it's um, people's voices, but it's not the beginning or the end of it's just the bit in the middle. So if I say like sheep, it's not the sh or the put, it's just the e bit. So you can hear it's kind of very floaty kind of sound here. You stand on this rug. The rug kind of says this is where you are. It's a very ethereal kind of experience. Um, Bay 19, it's got the majority of electronic media art is in this room, so it's like screens, city everywhere, all the sounds kind of fighting it out here. Um, I'll just describe Albert's work. It's like a film, right, but you, you get to a point in the film where something really important happens, and you've got like the red button and the, and the blue button, and it's like if you hit the blue button, he goes that way, and if you hit the red button, he goes that way. So you've got the bit, you know, like, like when the murder is coming in, you go, oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. You know, you really shouldn't go in that room, you know. So you hit the red button and they go the other room, right? But then maybe the murderer comes in the window kind of thing. So it's a, it's a film that you can control what happens next. All right, that's really interesting because, you know, like it means you get like 900 films in one kind of thing. 
And so we teach everything from video making to installation to making rock albums to uh, getting a balloon and filling it with helium and putting a camera on the bottom of it and letting it go. Um, there's really no, no limits. Um, it's just really a matter of how do I make a machine into something which explains myself. And I guess that's where the digital comes from. Taming technology. I think that's it.